I've been asked just because of uh, time, I'll just read um, Mzee Moy's uh, tribute. Condolence to uh, for Honorable Joyce Cherono Laboso. I learned of the death of Honorable Joyce Cherono Laboso with sadness and a great sense of loss. I knew of Joyce since her childhood. As her parents, my acquaintances were influential in the area, areas of farming, business, and community leadership in the then greater Kericho. Later in life, I appreciated her academic brilliance and the contribution she made as a teacher and lecturer. The news of our death reverberated across the country, occasioning an outpouring of grief from every sector of human endeavor. This was a clear testimony that Joyce had, in one way or another, touched the lives of many. Her life was evidently remar remarkable and stood out like a beacon on a hill. As a teacher and lecturer, she mentored many, transforming lives across the country and beyond. Her charisma, resilience, and willingness to sacrifice for the betterment of mankind attracted humankind, attracted the approval of our community, who gave her a chance to serve them as a member of parliament and governor. Joyce's election to serve as a deputy speaker in parliament was a clear proof that her popularity was not localized, but universal. In her checkered career in the academia, and politics she pursued with single-minded determination whatever goals she set for herself. Joyce braved her sickness with the right stoicism. She continued to serve despite this crown. As I mourn this iconic lady, I pray to God to give her family, her friends, and the people of Bomet County the necessary fortitude to bear the loss. Daniel Arab Moy. As I go to sit down, I too like to give my condolences to the family and to the people of Bomet to saying pole pole. There is one thing only which I observed. I have two observations, but I'll just say one about Joyce. And that was her stoicism. When I met her at the airport, I had the privilege of meeting her and having uh, a meal with her with my wife and we dis discussed so many wide range of issues. Never once did she mention about what she was going through. She bore it with fortitude and courage. She would be uh, greatly missed.